Yo team, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. I very, very nearly almost got out squatted earlier by my client. That was the first time I've squatted for a very long time. Actually, that's a lie. That's the first time I've squatted heavy for a very long time. And it felt quite comfortable, which was nice. No, I've had a lot of groin pain recently and no real groin pain. So decided to push up the weights. The top set was 140 for set of three, which like I said, my client did it. So I had to match him. Anyway, we'll start the video off with a tracky review. Now, this is a new company that has just launched. It's a company called Swift, S-W-F-T. Now, I think, I might have this wrong, I might have this right. A guy called Connor Swift has launched this company. Beth follows his wife, I think they're married, Instagram, YouTube, that kind of thing. Anyway, he's just launched this new clothing company and I said to Beth, the tracksuits I thought looked really, really cool. Very, very simple, very, very mini minimalistic. You can see there's a small S in the brackets in the middle. There's an S on your bum, but it's quite a minimalistic tracksuit but it looks really, really cool. So I just said to Beth, when we were at Centre Park this weekend. Turns out she ordered, one, ordered me one. What a little legend. Speaking of devil. All right, love. Yeah, I'm just filming a YouTube video. Oh, okay, all right. All right, I'll call you back. All right, love you. All right, love you later. Very, very simple, minimalistic collection. They've got a crew neck, hoodie, a long, uh, oversized T-shirt, and a pair of joggers. So Beth bought me the joggers and a crew neck. I'm a crew neck guy over a hoodie. I just find them more comfortable and more wearable. What I really, really liked about this is the very high, thick neck, the detailing on the back. I tried and overlay some footage. But I thought it was a really, really cool tracksuit. It is quite an expensive tracksuit, and Beth told me how much I like. But yeah, very, very thick heavy duty, nice tracksuit. But what are your thoughts? I really, really like this jumper. Oversized, baggy, wide, thick, dropped arms. Uh, tracksuit bottoms, they're thick, they're comfortable. I'm not sure I'm mad on them. They've got a cuff on the bottom, but we've already got little angles. All the cuff just sort of rolls down. I don't know, let me know down below. But anyway, this is just a quick little product review. We haven't had one of them. I will link the, the website down below. It's obviously a brand new company, so it's quite cool to to support them and get their first ever drop. But yeah, I'm excited for the green one to come. I do like the style of fit though. Look at what the girlfriend's got us in. Cupcakes, BMA, which is mine Alex, bootcamp brand, soon to be something special. I haven't actually kept you that informed about BMA within the past, like sort of three to, well, the last three months. A lot has been going on and you will be informed very, very soon, but I just, you just gotta wait and see, basically. But the company as a whole turns one year old tomorrow. So they got us cupcakes, which is kind of cute. And also, these cupcakes, bang. Good morning, team. It is Monday. That means we're full of regret this morning. A full weekend of sending it pretty hard. We had Oktoberfest on Friday, which is genuinely one of the best nights out I've had this year. One thing I will say is, at the Oktoberfest in Southampton, if you go and don't get a ticket into the main sort of seating area, you stood around the outside, that was pretty crap. We managed to get into the seating area. I had an amazing night in there. And then it was also BMA's one year birthday on Saturday. So a little birthday shindig, just went down. A very, very good night. Very, very good weekend, but like I say, full send both days, heavy, full of regret, no training, some pretty poor nutrition. So we're back on it today, start with an upper. And uh, pulled the camera out, let's just get some shit done. Oi oi then, I've got my stein full of water from Oktoberfest and I've popped up in the corner to run through this workout. We haven't done one of these in ages. So just to give you a general update real, real quickly, body, the split I've been running is pretty much upper body, lower body, then I tend to take a rest day, 
then I'll do an Olympic lifting session, then I'll do two conditioning sessions split up throughout the five sessions of the week. That's generally what I've been trying to get in. Secondly, let's address the elephant in the room. Throughout the video, I've been getting less and less facial hair. I'm growing out the Vogue and the dash. But the bold chin is not a vibe. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the workout. So, I can't see the workout, I need to see the workout. We started off with a oh, way to pluck. What I want to actually start with is talking to you about the, the way I structure these sessions. So basically, when I know I'm only going to be bodybuilding, because uh, this is technically a bodybuilding session, one upper body session and one lower body session, I will try and program the same sort of eight exercises, five to eight exercises every single session uh, and actually progress and, and do progressive overload. There's no point rotating five different types of bench press, five different types of shoulder movements, five different types of rowing movements. Stick to one movement, one or two movements, uh, progress them every week, try and increase your reps or increase the weight lifted uh, and, and do that. So started with weighted pull-ups. No, I didn't. I started with weighted dips. Once again, dip like shoulders, triceps, something it's used a lot in CrossFit, handstand push-ups, that kind of thing. Um, snatch, shoulder to overhead. So weighted uh, triceps is something that I've been throwing in. I want to be better at moving my body weight. So weighted pull-ups and weighted dips, both two of the movements that I've been doing. Just note down the weights and the sets that I've been doing and then going through that really, really enjoying moving my body weight a bit more. So after we did weighted dips, we did weighted pull-ups, weighted dips, slightly more reps, a little bit stronger on those. Weighted pull-ups, we pulled the reps down to four. Um, but once again, I feel really, really strong in those movements. Uh, then went on to pin press, okay? So I've had a little niggle on my shoulder for a couple of weeks now. So I wanted to strip it down, pin press, isolate that motion a little bit more. You see that that bar is just coming just shy of my chest so I can rest and then drive out. A lot of people, me included, use a lot of bounce off their chest when they do their bench press and they're strong, that's why they're strong for a bench press. They drive off, use the bounce. When we isolate and do a pin press, it takes away that, makes your chest and try and try dominate that movement and really have to work a lot harder. 70 here and I did sets of eight and I was blown up. Uh, a lot of superset work as well. Once I'd done my um, pull-ups and dips, everything else was superseted. So this is my favorite chest movement of all time. Cable fly, set it up, uh, nice high bench press. Push that chest out, open, feel the big squeeze across your pecs and then drive it. Reps eight to 10 here, couple of sets, but just making sure every single set I'm focused on good engagement, strong form, really solid movement. Uh, then went into a lat pull down cable row. These mag grips are amazing, by the way. If you've got a gym with them in, absolutely 100% use them. Uh, and then a nice bicep, tricep, superset. This is a bicep exercise I've been doing a lot. I really, really enjoyed. D handles on a straight bar on the cables, elbows forward, curl up to your forehead. Really, really good movement. And then, like always, whenever I'm doing a bodybuilding session, I'll just try and finish with a tiny uh, hit session to get my heart rate spiked as it would have been lower, getting sort of less calories throughout the workout. So we finish on a workout of 20 uh, calorie ski, 15 GHC sit-ups, 10 burpee um, bar taps, and then five hang snatch. Two rounds, I think my time was 5.32, and I got my heart rate up very high. Oh. Fuck. <sighs> Working out to the sound of your own breath. That's not that nice. Oh God, the music cut off my throat. Five, 32 for a little finisher. Lovely. Like I said, well, I've probably done a voice over that bit, but it's just nice to then do a real short burn and just spike that heart rate. Just see what we've got in the tank for the day. But all in all, a good workout, only about an hour and 10. Rossa, tell the people you're not dead. I'm not dead. Why am I dead? Because you haven't been in a video for months. Yeah, I probably thought you broke up. Maybe. Yeah, nah, not, not yet. Um, but I have been slacking on the content. So this video, or well, this clip's probably about a week later than the last clip, but it is what it is. I promise you there will be more content in 20. What year are we going into? 2022. <laughs> There'll be more content in that year. There'll be a lot of good things. Having said that, we are going to New York in three weeks, just over. So obviously there'll be a New York vlog. 
uh, which will be cool. And then obviously around that sort of time, other things will be kicking off. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's actually been a little bit different, like the old school curry where we did a voiceover, did a bodybuilding session. Um, but yeah. Are you also gonna confirm that I got my body warmer first? Who wore it better though? That's the question. <laughs> I have got mine done up, so I probably look like a bit of a... Beth bought her body warmer from um, ASOS Matt, and then I was like, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna get one as well. She didn't buy me one, pretty rude. No, you actually, you bought me a jumper earlier in the video, didn't you? Yes. The green one arrived. The green one's sick. The tracksuit bottoms for green ones haven't arrived yet. But I'm mm. definitely going to keep both the jumpers. Still not convinced on those tracksuit bottoms. I think they they look a bit like pyjamas, yeah, don't they? Yeah. Just sit down because they're heavy. The yeah, tracksuit just sort of sacks. goes to the bottom. So that's not really a vibe. But the jumpers are cool. Well, anyway, while we're rambling, I'll see you in the next video.